Hey, what's going on, guys? This is Alex over at InlinePerformanceMag.com, and today we're going to do a shootout between the 2008 Kawasaki ZX6R and the 2008 Ducati 848. Um, as you guys know, the uh, ZX6R has the MotorWorks exhaust on it, it has the Renthal uh, front and rear sprocket conversion, and uh, it also has the jumper mod done on it. The Ducati 848 has the full titanium Remus system um, with no ECU tuning. Uh, we'll see how they stack up against each other. ZX6R is a very high revving, quick accelerating, especially now with the Renthal uh, power up kit uh, bike. Um, it's a lot better on the streets, uh, in my opinion. Now, the Ducati 848 is a much more track oriented bike, and for us to test it on the street is really not putting it in its uh, element that it's been built for. <laughs> The ZX6R's uh, stock Nissans do its job well. Um, in contrast, the lower spec Brembos on the Ducati 848 are a bit better than the Nissans, but um, as you know, the Ducati is a lot heavier and there's a lot more to stop. So, for what they're installed on stock, I would say that uh, both brake calipers do their job well. ZX6R's top speed is 170 miles per hour in stock trim, uh, give or take uh, one or two, just to account for uh, aerodynamics, wind drag, yada yada yada. The uh, Ducati 848's top speed is 165, a little bit lower, but um, that's due to the V-twin engine. this test we mostly did uh, street riding and um, the Cowie came out a bit on top just because it's a more user-friendly bike it's uh, more forgiving on the street and stop and start traffic uh, the Ducati a 4 is just so track focused that unless we were uh, riding on the freeway um, there really wasn't a time where we could use it to its full potential um, so as for street riding, I would suggest the ZX6R over the Ducati 848.